We are in basic algorithm scripting, a free code camp, working on our 50 hour coursework here. We have uh, bonfire mutations that we're going to be working with. And so what we're trying to do in the mutations is, if, what's our goal for this? Our goal is to check if all the letters in the second string can, are in the first string. So look at this example. This is kind of a good place to get started, is we basically have two inputs and we're going to compare them. So in order to make sure we're worried about letters and not cases so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna um, lowercase both words and you could uh, vice versa do uppercase so let, we should start there and say okay um, we're gonna say R0 because there's only two inputs and this is one array so, and then uh, dot to lowercase so change that first word hello to lowercase and then do the same thing for a second word. So before we even get started, let's just do what the easy stuff. All right. Um, so next, what we want to do is we're gonna do a we're comparing. Uh, we're gonna do a for loop, but um, for which word do we call the length on? Uh, word one or word two? So when we read this, we are comparing. In the second string are present in the first so what we care about the first string can be as long and as big as it wants to be but we need to know the size of the second string to see if the letters are in it so however long the second string is that's the one we're going to do for our for loop so we're going to do if our i is equal to zero well i is less than word two dot length so in this case it would be three for hey and then we increment by one okay so now we are at the point where we need to that if you uh, hopefully if you looked at index of and so in this case index of is we're going to be checking the value using index of and if it's not contained in there it will return a, ne an, a negative one there's a lot of things you can do with index one index of but when it returns a negative one it's not contained within what you're comparing it to and so because of that we're going that that's all we're going to need to know for index of right now so um it's a little bit of a confusing one for me anyhow but uh the way i did this is i just created a value and i i compared it with an if statement so we're going to take the first word which is hello and we're going to say, so word one, so it's hello, dot index of. And then we're going to take our second word, word two, and we're going to say, is it contained in there? So value, set it to the index of word two i. So in this case, we're saying, is this, for the word value, is there this letter? Let's say an H, an E, or a Y, because we're iterating through it is it you know that's what we're going to pair so all we have to do is it equal it if it's equal to negative one uh return false else return true um take this out we do else statement here this is more code than you probably need to write else return true oops Let's count our brackets here. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, forget the else. Let's just do return true. And that should work. There we go. So let's go over our code real quick and put some comments in here just as a quick review. And for when we look back, um, lowercase, both inputs, both string inputs, inputs for comparison purposes. And let this uh, length of second word is important because we are iterating through its letters to see if they are in word one. A little bit wordy, so let's go ahead uh, and drop this down. And you should probably use a multi-line comment. Uh, if I remember correctly, star slash to slash star. There we go. Star slash. Slash star to star slash. And 
All right. Check um, place uh, value holder for uh, character. Um, negative one is the result, meaning it's not contained in word one. So that's it. So um, it iterates through word one, uh, checking each value of word two and saying, oh, is it in there? If it's not, if it sets this to negative one, at least one of those values is false, and then we return false, and our string is solved. So um, this is probably just understanding index of and negative one. Like I said, you can do a lot of stuff with index one, but this was just how I choose to solve it. I'm sure there's um, someone who has a better solution, but I hope uh, I hope this helped. If you got stuck on bonfire mutations, I know this was one of the harder ones for me. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, questions, comments, concerns, all that stuff is appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It really helps me out a ton, and it's the the it's the best way to help the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I appreciate all the comments that I get and all the questions I get in the comments. And I'm happy to answer them. So keep them coming. And I'll see you in the next video.